People often ask me how it is to be me, which I find to be a very odd question. But then I, I sit down and, 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 and I think about it. And I, and I think the biggest difference between, difference between me and many people I meet is that I'm extremely free. I, I've never really cared about what people think or what is right to do, what's wrong to do. Because I don't see any reason to stop myself from fulfilling my impulsive thoughts or doing whatever I want to do. Um, I mean, it's quite a good life when you're free. And it's, it's kind of weird because it's this in, in, in invisible force stopping people from following their instincts and from doing what they want. But they can. I would recommend anyone to um, to exist alone in a quiet place like nature. It's a very good place to become a philosopher, to really think through things and figure out things. Mountains are very good for to gain a different perspective. I find if you go up there, you you know it's it's a physical thing where the perspective changes and you realize how big the world is and how small you are and how small your problems might be as well. I would recommend people to explore dancing because dancing of some reason seems to be an embarrassing thing for most human beings but it's such a beautiful thing and I think you know the worse you look when you dance the better it is the, the, the more beautiful you you look to the world because the world can see that this person is free and freedom is a very handsome thing to wear I think okay. to try out nature to to try just how it is to be either in a forest alone or on a mountain or on the sea um, because I feel like those are the three big open spaces that the world can offer us. You know, the mountains, the forests, the fields, and the sea. What calms me down a lot is rave partying. I love going to rave parties and I love to go out and dance and just stay awake all night. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do alone also is healthy to experience life alone. I think it's very important for eternal growth because you learn things about yourself when you have no one to rely on but yourself. And then the next day go and sit in the forest. It's good. I like to have the both extremes of life um, close to my heart. I would recommend people to just take the choice, make the choice. Like tomorrow, when you wake up and you say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do whatever I want today. And if it's within the frames of society, like showing up to work on time, you can still handle the world just the way you want to. Up out here with the wind, it's okay? I think we're much stronger than money. We should be. And I think we can be. I think there's l a, a, um, a lot of hope. It's not a hopeless thing. It's, it's a very hopeful battle, I think, because um, luckily we've discovered that Mother Earth is dying just before it's too late. So we're on this beautiful place in time and space where it can either go really good or really, really badly. And it, it would be a nice thing to have on our shoulders, I think, to be, we were the generations that saved the earth again for the hundreds of generations for people to come. We can either be the ones that destroyed it or that saved it, which is quite exciting.